It's common knowledge that China is not playing by the rules when it comes to developing its automaking industry. There is high probability of corporate espionage, intellectual property theft and patent infringement. The CCP government is heavily subsidizing domestic manufacturers who go on to price out the competition on the international arena. However, despite the above-mentioned concerns, it is time to admit that the Chinese electric cars market is the biggest in the world and their models are much better than many American, European, Japanese and Korean counterparts. Today we'll show you what could be achieved if EVs were truly prioritized on the national level. 800 volt architectures, ultra-fast charging, long range, limitless horsepower, extremely smart tech and low prices. Here are top 10 electric cars and SUVs from China. Enjoy the ride! NEO ET9 As its name suggests, this car is the ninth model in NEO's all-electric lineup that is positioned as the brand's new flagship. Measuring nearly 210 inches in length, the newcomer is longer than the extended wheelbase Bentayga, though its underpinnings, sleek roofline and overall proportions put the ET9 in the category of the extra-large coupe crossovers, not true SUVs. The vehicle has a 128-inch wheelbase and an overall height of 63.8 inches. NEO claims that the ET9 has the novel 900V architecture that allows its 120kWh battery to recharge at a maximum rate of 600kW. This should allow the car to regain 158 miles of range in just 5 minutes. The model's 707 horsepower output is a courtesy of a mighty rear permanent magnet motor and a smaller front induction unit. The ET9 gets a height adjustable active suspension and rear wheel steering. It also becomes the first NEO to offer the increasingly popular steer by wire technology. In case of the ET9, it was specially developed in partnership with the ZF Group. Inside, this NEO is designed to cater to the needs of the rear row passengers. It has four individual seats, noise cancellation, and motorized shades. The rear seats offer a 45-degree recline function and an aircraft-style tray table between them. Each gets a dedicated 14.6-inch display in front and a smaller 8-inch control system. Xiaomi SU7 Apple bragged about it, Sony tried it, but eventually it was the Chinese Xiaomi who became the world's first smartphone producer to release an electric car. Their inaugural vehicle is a super sedan SU7, which strives to become the most aerodynamic mass-market automobile with a drag coefficient of 0.195. Since Xiaomi is the creator of the hyper die-casting technology and the Titan metals, the underbody of the SU7 is formed with 9100 tons of locking force. The sedan can be underpinned by an affordable 400V architecture and BYD batteries or a premium 800V system with the Cattle Lithium Nickel Manganese Cobalt modules. The flagship MAX models are powered by the dual-motor 673HP powertrain labeled V8 and the range reaches 380 miles. Additionally, in 2025 we'll witness the release of the SU7 Ultra. It is a tri-motor beast with 1,548 horsepower, world's fastest recharging 6C Quillen 2.0 battery, 219 mph top speed and 1.97 seconds 0 to 60. The Xiaomi Smart Cabin features a 16-inch 3K resolution console and a 56-inch head-up display. It is powered by Snapdragon chip, HyperOS and enhanced with AI. MG Cyberster With the Chinese money, British roots and a rather affordable price tag for an electric convertible, the new Cyberster promises to make it big. The car seats too has an automatic soft roof and black or red fabric and keeps the stylish scissor doors of its concept predecessor. Its distinct features include captivating magic eye headlights and a distinctive laser belt rear lighting signature. The model sits on the modular, scalable platform from SAIC and offers two drive train configurations, a rear and all-wheel drive. The flagship version is labeled GT and it's propelled by a pair of electric motors producing 510 horsepower and 535 pound-feet of torque. 
For this model, the 77kWh battery offers a combined WLTP range of 276 miles and contributes to its total weight of approximately 2 tons or 4400 pounds. With an acceleration time to 60 mph of just 3.2 seconds and a 125 mph top speed, it promises to be the fastest MG model yet. The Cyberster GT rides on 20-inch alloy wheels and has a fully electric hood. Inside, it features a three-screen cockpit powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip, an eight-speaker Bose audio, and standard Android and Apple compatibility. BYD SEAL and SEAL U It looks like a Tesla, drives like one, and has the comparable range, price, and power. The Chinese BYD SEAL and its crossover sibling SEAL U are the direct competitors to the American Model 3 and Model Y EVs. The duo sports the ePlatform 3.0 with the in-house developed blade battery. It implements the advanced cell-to-body technology and has an 80 kWh of usable capacity with a range reserves over 300 miles. BYD prides itself for the extensive safety testing of this lithium iron phosphate LFB battery pack, including fire penetration and crushing. The rear motor unit outputs 313 horsepower, while the dual motor cranks out 530. The BYD seal implements the latest intelligence torque adaptation control system which comes in handy when you get to 60 in just 3.8 seconds. The SEAL EV has a gorgeous panoramic roof, multifunctional seats and a large storage capacity, including 53 liters of front space. The major centerpieces of the cabin are the oceanic crystal gear lever and a 15.6-inch rotating screen with Apple and Android smartphone integration. Like this episode, if you want to have a conversation about the Chinese electric cars, rather than try to hide from the fact that they're outplaying the competition. We keep rolling. Xpeng G6 The third model added to the European lineup by Xpeng is a mid-size coupe SUV with the ultra-smart technology. The G6 rides on the innovative SIPA 2.0 platform with 800V architecture and two available battery packs. An LFP 66 kWh or an NMC 87.5 kWh rechargeable at 280 kW. The trim selection features models with rear and all-wheel drive layouts, making from 258 and up to 476 gut-punching courses. The interior is roomy, the trunk has the capacity of 571 liters, and the intuitive dashboard is comprised of a 10-inch driver's display and a 15-inch horizontal screen for the infotainment, powered by the Xsmart OS. The options list of the G6 is quite limited, because every model is adequately equipped. The package includes the X-Pilot set of active driver assists, 20-inch rims with Michelin tires, a large panoramic glass roof, fully adjustable heated leatherette seats throughout, ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, four USB ports, two 50-watt wireless charging pads for smartphones, a 960-watt audio system with 18 speakers, and a wide selection of music, video, entertainment, and social media apps. Zeker 007 Zeker is a rapidly growing manufacturer that combines efforts of engineers and designers from the Swedish Volvo and the Chinese Geely. Their latest creation is the 007 4-door saloon, the world's fastest charging EV. It owes this title to the second-generation 75 kWh golden battery developed in-house. This lithium iron phosphate brick improves the charging speed to 5.5C, which means that in practice, the pack can be recharged from 10 to 80% in just 10 and a half minutes. Range parameters for the new battery are 320 miles, while the older 100 kWh Cattle Quillen unit reaches 400. The entry-level 007s are powered by the single rear-wheel drive motor with 421 horsepower, while the flagship four-wheel drive variants boost this number to 646 HP. The interior of the Zeker houses a supercomputer with a 15-inch screen powered by the KR GPT-AI 
and a Snapdragon 8295 chip from Qualcomm. There is a 35-inch dashboard with a head-up display, a 714 acoustic system that supports 21 speakers, and a premium leather upholstery. The Zero Zero 7 comes standard with the lighter and two NVIDIA Orin X chips that collect info from 30 sensors, providing hands-free driving across all mainland China. Yang Wang U9 BYD aren't joking when they say that they can build your dreams. Who doesn't want an electric car with 1300 horsepower and a super actuated hydraulic suspension that can make a jump? The U9 is manufactured by the luxury sub-brand of the Shenzhen Giant and it's going after the title of the world's most affordable hypercar. The Super Coupe gets a carbon fiber monocoque, scissor doors, McLaren Speedtail front fascia and a huge rear spoiler. This model uses the high-performance BYD lithium iron phosphate battery technology coupled with an 800V architecture and recharging capability of 500kW. In essence, that means that 200 miles of U9 range can be replenished in less than 10 minutes. The car has 12 active and passive aerodynamic attributes to optimize efficiency and downforce. Each wheel is controlled separately and the unique Dysus X active body control suspension system, besides reacting to the slightest road surface changes, lets you drive on three wheels, do low rider tricks and jump. MG4 X Power This British Chinese electric hatchback has been making the waves in the news due to its super powerful electric top trim called the X Power. Just like the base version of the MG4, it is built on the new modular scalable platform with the 800V architecture and the next generation extra thin one pack battery technology. Here it has the capacity of 64kWh, but other MG4s offer 51 and 77kWh options. The X Power is good for 239 miles of the WLTP range in a combined cycle, and it's replenishable at 150kW. The exterior design of the MG4 adopts Tesla-like features, a grillless front, slim headlights with multiple LED units, and nearly vertical DRLs on the sides. Positioned to attract non-EV drivers, the car has perfect 50-50 weight distribution and gets vehicle-to-load functionality. It also rides on model-specific 18-inch Cyclone wheels, has launch control, and even features a special track driving mode. Inside, the MG4 X Power seats up to 5 people, has from 13 to 42 cubic feet of storage, and offers an Alcantara-wrapped interior with a 10.25-inch infotainment system, standard Android and Apple connectivity, as well as the MG Pilot Advanced Driver Assistance System. Xpeng X9 with over 13,000 units delivered since January 2024, the brand's X9 MPV occupies the leading position in the all-electric passenger van market. The model has a distinctive Starship design, utilizing the SEPA 2.0 platform. Measuring 208 inches or 5.3 meters, it accommodates 7 passengers and a 2 plus 2 plus 3 seating arrangement. Despite its size, the aerodynamics are superb with a drag coefficient of 0.227 CD. The minivan offers two powertrain options, front-wheel drive with a 315 horsepower motor or a dual-motor all-wheel drive with a total output of 500. Accelerating from 0 to 16 pH and 5.7 seconds and with a top speed of 124 mph, it is probably the sportiest MPV out there. The X7 boasts two battery options up to 325 miles, supports 800V charging and features a 3C battery cell, allowing for a range increase of 140 miles in 10 minutes. The X9 prioritizes spaciousness with a one-click transformation to an ultra-large four-seater. There is an electronic seat folding and numerous smart functionalities. The interior resembling Tesla's design includes a central control screen, a smaller driver's instrument panel, and a 12.4-inch screen for the rear passengers. SSC SC01 
Do not confuse this company with the SSC North America, the manufacturer of Tuatara Hypercar. In this case, SSC stands for Small Sports Car, which is a Xiaomi-backed startup that has recently begun production of the SC01 EV. Externally, the scoop is reminiscent of the 1970s Lancia's Traders Rally Car, and size-wise, it closely matches the Mazda Miata. The SC01 has a 435 horsepower motor coupled with an all-wheel drive. Its battery recharges under half an hour and should be capacitive enough to store 300 miles of range. Production is likely to take place at the BAIC factories. Trade wars and rising tariffs will not work forever. Consumers are smart and they will ignore patriotism when being offered a better and less expensive product. So, car makers around the world have to wake up and start investing into the EV sector like they mean it. Otherwise, very soon they might find themselves completely beaten by the growing Chinese EV empire. Share your thoughts about the Chinese electric cars in the comment section and mention your favorite models. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory. May the torque be with you!